Hey everyone, welcome to Judging for the Win. I'm Dave, and this is my daily ruling. Today's question was suggested by a viewer. Thanks to Andres Yopis for this one. During Amy's upkeep, she moves some plus one plus one counters from Forgotten Ancient onto her iridescent horn beetle. During Amy's end step, does Amy get a 1 1 insect token for each counter moved this way? Okay. So at first you might be thinking, this is a pretty straightforward question. There's not a lot really going on under the hood here. And while I admit it might look that way at first, I think this is one of those cases where the more experienced you are with the rules and answering rules questions, the more likely you are to second guess yourself or want to look something up. That's because the word move, which is the verb used in the Forgotten Ancients ability, does not appear in the trigger condition of Iridescent Horn Beetle. This could be a big deal. Notice that, for example, in the Forgotten Ancients' first ability, we know that any counters that were generated that way are definitely going to count towards our total for Iridescent Horn Beetle. That's because that ability does use the word put, which is the same ability that the trigger condition on Iridescent Horn Beetle is looking for. Now, if you have the word move, that's a completely different word. And a lot of the time in Magic, if you're using a completely different word, that might mean we're talking about a completely different game action that doesn't count towards that thing at all. So, one really famous example of this is the difference between damage and losing life. So, for example, we know that damage causes you to lose life, so that means if you have a triggered ability that looks for losing life and you suffer damage, well, that one is going to trigger. However, if you have a triggered ability that looks for damage and you lose life, well, then it would not trigger. So, we have to know what type of relationship goes on between these two words, put and move, in order to get a correct answer for this question. I bet a lot of people watching this probably didn't even consider that this might be a problem. However, if it did occur to you that this might come up, give yourselves a big pat on the back because that probably means your rules knowledge is developing very nicely. So I'll look up in the comprehensive rules exactly what moving a counter entails, and we'll see that sure enough, yes, it does mean to remove the counter from the original object and put it on the other one. Because this definition in the comprehensive rules specifies that we are putting the counter onto the new object, then this does indeed count as putting a counter on the iridescent horn beetle if we move counters using the Forgotten Ancient's second ability. And that's going to be true whether we're moving them onto iridescent horn beetle or any of our other creatures. They'll all count towards the number of plus one plus one counters that were put onto our creatures this turn, because that's exactly how it's defined in the comprehensive rules. One of the things I really like about the English language in general is we have lots of different words that mean very similar things, which makes it really easy for a templating team to use distinct terms to keep everything straight like this when there's really technical differences going on. So if you're a non-English Magic player, I would love to know how good of a job your localization team does at preserving differences like this in the language that you play in. I can definitely imagine there being some places where there might be difficulty keeping everything straight and using the reserve words only for their specific intended purpose the way the English team does such a good job of. And that's all I have for you today. No, no, I'm just kidding, just kidding. I know for a fact that when all of you were clicking on that thumbnail, you probably had a completely different rules question in mind. I imagine most of you were probably thinking the question was gonna be something like, okay, so if I have Forgotten Ancient and Iridescent Horn Beetle out, could I use Forgotten Ancient's second ability to move 10 plus one plus one counters onto itself in order to give myself 10 insect tokens at the end of turn? And so go ahead and think about what your answer to that would be in light of what we were talking about before. And this is why it's really important to always go in the comprehensive rules. Because with this type of question, it gets a lot more hazy about whether the correct answer should be yes or no. Certainly it could be argued either way based on the pure semantic argument. However, if you go in the comprehensive rules and look at exactly how the terms are defined, all you need to do is finish reading the rule that I had on screen earlier, and you'll see that this in fact does not work. If the creature that you're moving from and moving to happen to both be the same creature, well, the game knows that and the counters are not going to be moving at all, they're just going to be staying exactly where they are, and so of course that does not count as plus one plus one counters being put onto the Forgotten Ancient. It makes it really clear if you look in the comprehensive rules and see the definition and the explanations that they're giving. However, it's definitely not the sort of thing that I would consider to be intuitive if you didn't have that sort of a background. And that's all I have for you today, for real this time. How did you do? Join me again tomorrow for another daily ruling, but until then, I hope you have a great day.